1882, Frederick Nietzsche announced, God is dead. One tongue-in-cheek response on God's behalf said, rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Well, a headline in uh, Monday's National Post affirms the return of God based on the book God is Back, co-authored by John Micklethwaite and Adrian Wooldridge. They say this return is propelled by market forces and public demand. Quote, religion is making a major comeback from mega churches in the American heartland to Bible study groups in China and even growing interest in one secularist, Europe. This is good news, girls. I know, but the funny thing, I think, for us is God never left. No. <laughs> yeah. So for God to be back, I mean, I think it's just always the funny part of God the whole maybe marketing no. scheme, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, and I, I think it's just more <laughs> in the media landscape now, really, to be honest with yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really, I think actually they're kind of behind the times on this story. I mean, we know oh, what's yeah. been going on in China. We know all of these things that are, are happening. But mm -hmm. I think for a while, religion has been kind of in the pastures, you know what I mean, in, mm -hmm. in terms of the media landscape. And it's just made a comeback through these, ironically, books on atheism. That's really yeah, brought yeah, yeah. a lot of the, these issues and, back and on the, the agenda. And mm -hmm. the megachurches, too, mm -hmm. right? I Absolutely. mean, that we see in North America and, you know, some in Canada. But mm -hmm. I think you're right. I think the media's kind of catching on, oh, there is something yeah. happening on the landscape here about religion. Yeah. Well, and the bus, yeah. the whole bus campaign. Yeah, the atheist, the atheist bus campaign. dad campaign. Kind of backfired, yeah. eh? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard too much about it. Well, and, 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 and market one. demand, hello, what does that mean? Because mm -hmm. I think, you know, this idea, there's always been a demand because we, we're finding, and I, and I think, you know, what, what this article was talking about is that science, m modernism, rationality, all of these things were supposed to take away our need for God, mm. but they haven't been the answers no. they were touted no. to be. Mm -hmm. And in fact, people are more hungry now. Well, because exactly. Yeah. I think there is market demand because people are realizing that mm -hmm. as we get more, as we're getting more wealthy, as we're buying more, as mm -hmm. we're buying into this, people yeah. are realizing the emptiness of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are realizing the shallowness of what they're living and there is a demand. I hope there's a demand. And, and but my though is that I, I'm glad there is demand. I think that people do do love marketing and they get wooed into yeah. the whole marketing of things. But on the other hand, we have to be careful that it's just not marketing to religion mm -hmm. versus the true relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus. Absolutely. And I think that's sort of that yeah. tension that people are like, we need to bring people into to the churches, to the fold, right. but we also want to make sure it's not just a fad, but it's a true relationship. Yes, absolutely. exactly. Yeah. And, you, and you don't want this shallow thing. That's exactly. the another problem right. too is that, and I think we've grown up in such a consumer culture that we almost expect our relationships to be like that too mm. on demand microwavable um, microwavable <laughs> like <laughs> even, you know you, there's no there's no there's yeah. no long-term planning this whole kind mm. of short-term gratification you know mm. God is so not like that and yeah. uh, and so we really want people to go deeper I think mm. that rather than just kind of catch on to the 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 message or the the hype so, so if the you marketing know, can bring people in well, that's it I think it's mm -hmm. a good thing you know I think I think in the long run yes it needs to be a depth thing it needs to be relationship rather than just religion but I think getting them there is a good thing I do first step as long as we can then go deeper absolutely and 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 get that's, relationship that's with where Jesus. leadership yeah. comes into play absolutely. really you need to really have the key leadership there. and I say mm -hmm. Nikki that you have spent some years as pastor's wife yes mm -hmm. it's not what your I husband's doing have. right now yes. today but yeah yeah, you've mm -hmm. seen. I have, and, and, and it's, it's so true. You, you, this culture is, I was just reading an article in McLean's actually about um, the loss of religion in younger people. But I, I think those stats are true that there's a loss of religion, but I think there's a deepening hunger for truth yes. mm -hmm. and a deepening hunger for something deep, something beyond just yeah. what we're seeing yeah. here. And so I think with good. so many people now, you know, the landscape of the whole economy, I mean, people are finding out that their jobs can't be everything That's when right. they don't have their job yeah. anymore. They're still, yeah. they're they're Absolutely. they're desperate, yeah. even mm -hmm. more desperate now. Yeah. So. The things that we've yeah. always, you know, hung on to success, money, relationships, yeah. and those things yeah. start to go. Yeah. It's like, what are you left yeah. with? And mm -hmm. a lot of people are looking for God yeah. in those dark places. And when Nietzsche took God away, way back then, uh, an angst settled over mm -hmm. uh, the entire society. Mm -hmm. uh, people were despairing. Mm -hmm. And this discovery was, yeah. we're spiritual beings. Yeah. We've got to bring God back. <laughs> yeah. And once again, we're discovering yeah. man cannot live, no. not really live, yeah. without yeah. God. Yeah. Whatever our response to God, he is the eternal God who never changes. The ever-present I am. That's good news every day. Mm. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart.